linebacker unit. Sankey set the school record 1,775 rushing yards, and he breaks a tackle here and is drops to me how hard that is. Jake Rocker could do no wrong in a Washington uniform, but Keith Price is filled in admirably. Although that one was dangerous. In situations, because he's the only guy on that defense with size. On third and two, they'll run it, and they get a first down. Bishop set. And Price to throw, being chased, and trying to dump it off. That may have gotten tipped. It's caught anyway, and then down at the 40-yard. One side of the field. It's going to be an interesting uh, matchup to watch as the game goes on. Price off the run fake, throws incomplete. It's her first ball, and they don't get mad at me for calling her the head linesman. That's what it says in the rule book. That's why we're supposed to call her that. As it's caught by you that can run and be physical with Jenkins. That was 17 yards. Now Price going to the sideline again. And Price get in rhythm and get his momentum going. It's been very difficult to stop this offense. Out on the flat it goes to true freshman DeMaurier. Strength to be the guy with the most upside on this offense. Sankey gets the call here. Wrapped up at the 22. A lot of carries for Sankey in his college career. One of the reasons why he may elect to go pro is he's wrapped up 11 win seasons. But remember, prior to him taking over, BYU was struggling. Out on the flat, string fellow breaking a tackle and running over a defender and getting the first. Kisau last night, he said, this guy is going to be the best that he's seen. Breaking it to the outside, Sankey. He'll take it in. Touchdown, Washington. That's all? That's it. 1934 to 63. Keith Price on first and 10, and the pass is incomplete. Dropped by Stringfellow. And defensively, when Washington's got the ball, Justin Wilcox, the coordinator, is clearly in charge. Pass is caught, and near the first down is Kevin C. after tonight. It's interesting is he could also stay here because he he came from Boise State. He was with Chris, Chris Peterson there, the new head coach here at Washington. Kevin Smith on the even with that news at Oregon. Here's Price on second down and long, and a fire it deep. Got a man! Incredible attempt, nearly pulled in by Jadon Mickens. The catch, Mickens has become uh, their number one receiver this year. Third down, Price dumping it off to Sankey. And he is nailed short of the first down by Sin. Try to kick it. They bring Stringfellow in motion. Price looking that way, now comes to the other side of the field. And run out of bounds. Back to pick the flag up. We also have our ESPN rules expert Dave Katai in the booth. Thumbs up from Dave as well. Here's Sankey inside the. We have the biggest booth at ESPN in college football. Four man booth with the Luganville down in the field. <laughs> Five man show. Price being chased and gets out of bounds. The view is the interim head coach. Sankey on fourth and one. Yard line. There's Sankey, makes one man miss, gets inside the five. Backs can make, but Bishop Sankey's got the vision to make those cuts. Price throwing toward the sideline, and Mickens on the catch, but another. In the backfield, the ball can make plays with his side. They're going to run it. Sankey trying to push the pile toward this drive. That's Safarian Jenkins. And they're going to hand it off, and Sankey tackled by Ben Noy. Misses the block here, and then the center that comes out to block the guard. Sorry, misses the block. That's Tanagawa. Two guys. Here's Sankey trying to get outside on first down, and cannot get away from decision to go or to stay. And I think, especially with some of the players at BYU and what they're going through, the decision that that Van Noy makes, we can't just look at it and say a couple of yards on second down. So it's third and five, and Price to the air. Pressure coming. Price steps up. Fumbled the ball. An offensive lineman for one. That's why they have only two yards of total offense in this uh, second period. A wide open in the flat is Stringfellow. Rather than attacking in the backfield, he's playing wide receivers out on the perimeter. Price with a completion to Mickens. It's a first down. Poison. Price has made it look easy so far. They throw to the other flat for Kevin Smith. Wrestle to the ground. BYU eventually is going to have to attack on defense. Now Sankey with a jump cut in the hole. Now busting it to the outside. Touchdown! All five-point lead. Marcus Tuiasasopo, the interim coach, before Chris Peterson takes over. 
following tonight's game. Keith Price, senior quarterback, playing his final. BYU, they get in the red zone, they have to kick field goals. That's been the difference. They ran 25 more plays than Washington as Sankey gets loose here. And second effort. Pitch to Sankey. And he's out of bounds. Little, uh, spot was where he went out of bounds, so it's second and ten. Here's Price looking downfield instead underneath to Sankey. And again, able to bounce off of yet. Yeah. Gonna go empty here. Sankey motioning out of the backfield. Now they bring pressure, and Price is loose. And he's got the first down and more. Up in here. And the athlete that Keith Price is, he's just able to sense it and then get through that hole and run away from it. That's just man, where your problem is and take advantage on the opposite side. Sankey on the carry, but no running room. Spun down. That he's had have taken their toll last year and earlier in this season, but he continues to come back and play with that passion. Here's Ross through a gap and steps out of bounds inside now. And now he's finishing out his career in a big game. Here's Safarian Jenkins. We really haven't talked much. Than Safarian Jenkins, but I think based on what he's done in his career, he got the award. Hebron in North Carolina. Trying to get outside here is Collier. And this has had some more weapons on the outside to throw to. And obviously Sankey gets a lot of touches as Price throws to the end zone to Safarian Jenkins, who makes here it moves to Levi's Stadium in Santa Clara, home of the 49ers next year. Sankey trying to get outside, does, and then cuts it back and near the first down. And he's been involved in the recruiting, but allowing the present staff to handle ball preparation as Sankey was short there and second one gets it. It was about timing and fit. And I think it, it's a great marriage for Washington. And it's a great marriage for Chris Peterson. And he knows it. He, he said, look, my job just got harder. And so I think he's got the right attitude. Price carrying here and tackled short of the Washington face with a third down and three. Here's Price trying to run for it and he will not get there. Tackled short. Team able to do that. Now Washington with another touchdown might be able to put the game away. Here's Price going to air it out, but a bad throw as he throws it right to Robertson Daniel, taking it back inside the 15 yard line. A big play by the BYU defense. Calls, but that certainly is one of them. Sankey off the right side. And Sankey steps out of bounds at the 40. He is a special, special player. Sankey. Up to the 46 yards. For Bishop Sankey, and that, that starts to take its toll. There's second and seven. They'll run Sankey again. And trying to try to cut back. He's given to you, right? It's not, you're not going to get that payday out of college. Price's pass is complete, but short of the first down is Stringfellow. Yeah. Going to hand it off here to Jesse Collier, who is Sankey's backup, and he takes it. He's got a strong arm, and he can run. It's just a question of seasoning for Siler Miles and maturity level. He throws the football away there. It's a good decision. Third down and five. They rush five, and the pass is incomplete. Intended against LSU, and that's what gave Bishop Sankey the, the, the opportunity, so give it to Collier. They do here on first down. He's to the 35 for a couple. Honed and polished. Steve Sarkeesian started it. Now Chris Peterson gets to continue to mold it. Collier breaking it outside, but a wall of... Be a leader in the last month. I think you got to give a lot of credit to Keith Price. And an excellent pass by... It was Keith Price's team. It was some of their other seniors. And that's what you want to see, and that's, I think, what makes it so special. Collier should have lost about five yards. Instead, he gets... This senior class led by Keith Price were and getting that program back to a, a, a point where they can actually have more success. Miles taken off running for the first down and more inside the 25. Well, he's, he's got that kind of talent. He got 32 on that carry. He'll hand it off here to Collier. And he's brought down to the point of attack. The transition is becoming an outstanding football coach. He'll have his chance. Miles trying to dump it off. Dangerous pass and it's nearly intercepted by... Here he comes. They bring five. And here's a deep ball thrown to the end zone. Incomplete. Well, there's only there's one more uh, offensive uh, staff position open at USC. He's got a great relationship with, with Steve Sarkeesian. He's only been under John Gruden. Here's Collier on second down and 10 with a stiff arm. He's got to stay in bounds and get the. Have a landscape next year. 
And the Pac-12 is Tigers wrapped up close to the first down. And play the games that they schedule are good teams: Wisconsin, Notre Dame, Virginia. They're on the road. That's the challenge for Bronco Mendenhall. Is Lost SEC teams or, or one lost Pac-12 team to make it into the into the playoff. Is Collier? It's positive yard. He's going to bring up the right approach. He didn't try to put too much pressure on himself. He wasn't trying to win a job. He was just trying to be be that coach that could up just 16 points here in a bowl game. And the defense overall shown much improvement the last two years. Now fourth and four. Miles running around. And he'll get tackled at the 35, and BYU will.